so, so, so. You know that Girls gotta do What the girls gotta do Right? So not please Yeah Pray me up please Yeah So we said I'm paying on the mob bills Let me shut up Money I'm for make you dick So not please Yeah Pray me up please Yeah So we said I'm paying on the mob bills Let me shut up Money I'm for make you dick Me want flat screen TV it's your girl Kavana and we are here live at Lounge Zero Fairview Marketplace where I have some lovely guests. Guess what we have in store for you guys today? Our girls chat. So I don't know, the thing well mad. Ladies, welcome to Dance All Home. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Do you want to go ahead and tell our viewers your names? Sure. Well, um, I'm Lasana and I am the owner of Hooked on Hooker, aka Hooker Boss. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Tori, your Instagram influencer and 876 Mature model. Yep. Hey guys, my name is Cece, also laced by Cece, and I'm your Montego Bay celebrity here, Stats. Yeah. Thank you. Hubbers, I hope you guys are ready because today we'll be having a little girls chat. These ladies have no idea what these topics will be or what we'll be talking about. So I hope they have their drinks and they're ready because we're going to lick them with some questions. <laughs> when they're ready? Alright, let's go. Alright. I'm going to just go right into it. Let's even go ease into it. What are your general thoughts on abortion? Wait, 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 wait. Before we start, are you guys pro-life? Huh? What? Pro-life. I think I'm pro-life because ladies should have the opportunity of not wanting to have a child and having a child if they right. want. Right. So that is pro-life. Yeah, I agree. Pro -life. I agree. I definitely have some, you know, yes I knows or whatever, but I do feel that it it solely depends on the person that's going through it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or maybe with the partner as well. Yeah. So it's all about discussion. So what if the, the partner don't want it? Exactly. Because and that's where the other thing comes in. Yeah. Yeah. That's, Be yeah. Because recently I've watched um, a reality series. And that was a conversation that was having between the quote unquote um, en engaged couple. Yeah. And the woman was like, she's all for abortion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the guy was like, no, no, not no. Having no. It. Right. But while I was listening to her, uh -huh. like her reasoning is because of she's, she's of age. Yeah. And you know anything can happen, right? So she's like, "Hey, she wouldn't be want her child to be deformed, and right. you know." But the guy was just not having no, it. no, and because she is saying that her reason is she deals with kids, yeah, on a daily basis, you know. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. As I said, it really comes down to the conversation it, and what you really can. Yeah. So basically, you guys think it should be a choice? It is, yeah, basically. Okay. And what would you guys say is your age limit in a partner? <laughs> so, 70. <laughs> you mean sugar daddy? Um, yeah. It depends because you have older men that are not yet mature mentally, mm -hmm. physically, everything, and then you have younger, younger men who are mature. Yeah although they're not older so it's, right. it depends on the age or yeah. whatever the mindset you connect to. Yeah. I, I, I don't think i've ever passed um 50 or maybe late 40. <laughs> what's, the, what's the oldest you get <laughs> me Tori. i think it's 35. oh yeah, yeah. cc what's the oldest you get 39. Mm. wow yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sticky one. <laughs> wow that's Crazy. real you guys have dated really young men <laughs> How about, you? How about you? I've dated people in their 60s. Whoa! Of course! Of course! Yep. Wow. Um, do you guys think broke men give better sex? Definitely. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hope. Can they mess Broke men, they have been nice as with a penis. Be <laughs> true. Tori? I wouldn't know. Super, thank you. <laughs> um. There's three and I'm never have sex with one broke boy yet. I don't even like one boy we can buy a one. Right, I'm not even. We don't even. I don't remember like my broke, but you know. Oh, you mean it like that? There. I don't you remember my like sex that. life with broke okay. men though. That was like when I was younger in high school days. Since I'm an adult, I haven't really 
Mm. Fun city, broke boys. <laughs> Fun city. You? Yeah. Is I wouldn't re- I wouldn't really say broke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but mm-hmm. you know, I guess the the person probably have things for them dealing with or right. whatever. But you, you're not really the type to go and pressure them in any sense. But you know, you would have still want something. something. But Father God. <laughs> yeah. I probably it was just a we call yeah, it, um <laughs> a one night stand or, or yeah. Yeah, a rebound or something yeah. like that. So it doesn't probably run back dudes, when I broke it. Yeah, run back dudes, when I then run back broke, when I broke you know. So we have it. Don't forget to catch a new body and get me. Right. <laughs> How important <laughs> is your partner's finance? That is important. Yeah. It is important. Mm. Well, if it's a case where you are depending on him, <laughs> it has to be up. Yeah. <laughs> but if you don't have to, yes. because yeah. it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. It right. doesn't. Because one at a time, if in the like, um, help you with your bills and stuff, mm-hmm. and if team finance could work a bit, uh, yeah, it can. Man. It can be like, yeah, babes. Yeah, but at yeah. the same time, buy a two tire or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, you need to know that, like, yeah. you know, if I probably fall short and I'm the one with the finances, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. he can assist. Right. But I just feel like if you're in a relationship, if both should be if stable. If you are depending on his yeah. finance too, if you're not, I don't intend to. <laughs> that is it. What do you think about men that only want to date stable women? Financially stable women. And what is wrong with that? Uh, nothing. I don't think anything is wrong with it. Because at the same what time, I guess think? at one time, sound like it's going to be like. Them want, and we probably want the same. Exactly. We don't want to date man when it's stable, and man don't want to date woman when it's stable. So, you know. So, what about the days when men used to be more providers right. than have to worry at all about the woman being stable? Well, those because, were the days. Right. It's not the days anymore. It's not. It's not really the days. Not anymore. It's, really it's because most of these men are like too feminine nowadays. Right. Oh. Yeah. Want to be a princess? Why? Girl. Like, why you go block me? Okay, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's because sometimes these men are like they have too much. Like, want to you? Yeah. You know what? <laughs> so you up so you can be like, be you can take care of you, if you help you with this so and so. And all the time you go be like. No man, I want a good girl, I want a girl with have it, so can give me any time, so it's all the time, but it's all on your perspective. So right. You know, sometimes it's an opinionated space, yeah. by the way. Right, but sometimes if you do find that gentleman right. or guy who actually says, hey, I want to solely provide mm-hmm. for you, or he wants to do mm-hmm. that, and then maybe based on what you've been through in the past, mm-hmm. You're kind of like iffy about the whole thing. Yeah. And then when you do allow him to do all of what he's been saying he's going to do, it backfired. Mm-hmm. Facts. I've literally seen it happen to a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. It backfired. For me, I personally don't feel like men should, quote unquote, look for financially stable women. I'm right. more old fashioned and uh, Call me one-sided, right. but I don't feel like you're supposed to be. I'm not going to date a woman if she's not financially stable. Mm. I always feel like the man is the head and they should lead. Yes. And but that's what they want that's to be. Take that's no true. part. No, they want to be princesses now. <laughs> exactly. Right. Right. They won't get the no words on. Your, yeah. I'm a cussy up like you. They want to split the bills. Like, no, they want both. Are, best are we supposed to do this? Best they want to split the bills, but if yeah. I'm ever to split the bills with a man or quote-unquote treat a man like a princess, he's going to have to cook. Spread the bed, I know, that's right. clean, <laughs> and do all of the necessary <laughs> things. Period. But you do have men like that. True. Yeah, there are men True. like that. Because God naturally, you guys. on their God own, because you if guys. you're supposed mm-hmm. to like go to a guy that's your, your dating, his apartment, and you see it's well taken care of. Right. Okay. Most of them are L costume. That is true. The truth. Most of them are washer lady, L all of the above. But I mean, the ones that actually do it on their own. Yeah. Well, um, threesomes have become a very oh, popular Lord. thing and Managa would it be who I am or this wouldn't be dance I'll hope if me never ask Great. what is your take on that yeah. for these men nowadays you know man them can't really please again last. so mm-hmm. how do you feel about that do you feel like if them deserve it and forget it it's an immediate no 
doesn't mean that your man is thinking about other women. Just what do you think? I'll go last in this conversation. <laughs> in this what do you think? Who <laughs> want to talk to me what about that? What do you think, Um, It all depends on the vibes. It's under some way of a plan, if it just make it happen. But <laughs> if the man deserve it, then you can probably... What do you call deserve? deserve. How do you know when a man deserves deserve. a threesome? Mm. Why? I think it depends on you if you willing to give him a threesome or not. If you have a man that you're willing to give him a threesome, you can't give him or you don't want to give him, you just don't. Yeah. Okay. I What's think, about... Okay. I think... Mm. Yeah. If, as they say, modest life. Right. So, <laughs> if you're into that... You do the modest thing. You're doing modest things. <laughs> yeah. I'm into threesomes, but I'm not going to do Like, in this life. generation right, right. now, like, who not into girls and who not into what them in a... Or experimenting or trying new things. Trying new things. Trying new things. Because I'm just alive. Okay. <laughs> so as it relates to the whole three something, like my always say, if you know it, my dear's not gonna do it. So just the same way us as women we want things and we need things and we ask for it. Ugh, men ask for things <laughs> and they want things. So sometimes we can compromise, you know. But boundaries I would say is definitely the thing. Like if you're not set boundaries and no say, mm. if you do this, we'll go feel away. If you do that, we'll go feel away. Like, so you know, you just sense. set your boundaries. Because yeah. men, in my opinion, are like pets. You just train them, <laughs> sit, stand, eat, drink, <laughs> and they will understand. Oh. It's very simple. Someone else. Some of them. <laughs> and then you know you have stray dogs. So it's. <laughs> You know it already. <laughs> so, um, how often do you think you should give your partner sex? This is a very serious question, guys. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? I'll, I'll go should last give my partner one. or my partner should give me. Anyway, you know, whoever anyway, got anyway, anyway, <laughs> okay. whoever is giving. Whoever. How often should one get sex? I don't know because. If you're living together, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's one who work. Yeah, it depends. Like, <laughs> it depends. It really does depend depends because on, if, yeah. listen, if if we both have a sexual drive, like high high sexual drive, that's totally different. Y'all need to go at it, go at it. If I don't make your money, mm -hmm. get up and do one of me if you do. All right, what or, if? Let me let me rephrase it because that's a big question. Exactly. Let's say. You are not necessarily the one with a big, with the sex drive. Your partner yes. has a high sex drive. How do you compromise that or work with that? Well, let me see nothing. if they're not gonna take on a man. Let me see, really, and Julie, really? if they're not gonna take on a man. <laughs> Tour, answer now, please. Not mine. We'll go last. Because if your your partner has a high sex drive, then I am, well, if I hear a partner, I know him. I know when he. You know, then you have to do your thing in the car, back and wherever it is. Yeah. It all depends on whenever on the nature of the car. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I go do your thing no matter where, when I go, just problem, do then. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop lights, wherever. Just, just saying. saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm good over here. <laughs> What are the boundaries as it relates to your exes? And how do you feel about your friends dating your ex? Well, if, if it's a friend and he, she's dating my ex, that's not my friend anymore. Okay, thank you. So, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a no for me. That's the 